isn't gonna blow up. Come on now. That's how you do it. Good call, good call. I've been hanging around with you quite a bit, Jake. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Good thing. It's a good thing? Yeah. What do we got going on here? I'm trying to get a pressure washer to work. We're gonna turn this around so I don't do what I did yesterday. Yeah, what he ended up doing was taking this and ripping it this way and it snapped the other one. Jake's such a nice guy, he even pulled out Seth's bike and started washing it for him. With the old garden hose with just a little scrub action. What's up crew, what's up machine freaks? I hope all you guys are feeling really good, really great. If you're not, well, sit back with a snickety snack, relax. As you guys are aware, I bought the new bike. Jake and I took it out for a small rip, even though it didn't have like anything for brakes. It, it absolutely had nothing for front brakes, but back brakes, we had a tiny little bit. We actually used brake pads that Jake actually threw out. We found them in his garbage bin and use them. I have ordered new ones, I have ordered a whole bunch of new parts for the bike, and I'm really excited to install them and have a better bike than I do have now. The reason why I'm visiting Jake right now is to harvest this muffler off my bike. This dent, I wanna take this dent out because there's actually a crack right here and I wanna weld it. As you two-stroke fans know, the expansion chamber is like the most important thing on a two-stroke. While I weld that, I also want to pull this dent out if I can. Jake, you gonna give me a hand taking this expansion chamber off? I'm getting it! First two stroke muffler uninstall complete! So here's the crack that I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, you can really see it on camera. I'll probably end up pulling this dent out first. And then, like I said, if I make any other cracks, we'll go ahead and weld those up too. Make sure you get good at it, so in case it happens to mine. So I'm headed to the shop that I'm going to do all this work, but before I took off, I stopped at my local automotive shop, parts shop, whatever you want to call it. I bought parts to a rig that I'm going to build. It's going to be like some rocket science experiment with 3D machines. It's going to be awesome. So before I can even fix this pipe, I have to build a rig, and that's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> Once I get the rig built, then I should be able to blow up that pipe just like a balloon. Before I get to the shop, I'm gonna pick something up to eat. Lunch, breakfast, for champions. I don't know what time it is, but whatever it is, it's for champions. Only snowing in New York State. This is what the pipe looks like. It's got a big dent right here. And then it's got a smaller one right here. So I guess the first thing we're going to do, and it's, it's, it's bent up there too. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is strike an arc to it and, and uh, establish whether or not this is coated or not. We'll just start with the tests and then once we figure out what kind of material it is, we'll go from there. So before we can take those dents out of the muffler, I have to build a rig. And that'll consist of... Now this is just the hardware. I'm also going to need a couple pieces of plate and also some soft material to act as a gasket. I'm going to take advantage of this welder because it's already out and it's already ready to go. And there's a table right here. I got the two O-rings off the muffler with this handy dandy tool I just made. Well, it was an old welding tip and it had the wire already burnt into it. So I just took that end, sharpened it down to a needle and used that to get those O-rings out. Now my rig's gotta go on this side. So my plan is, I'm going to take this clamp Wrap this right around here, and then weld these two bolts to it. And these might actually be too long, I might have to find other ones.
We're making progress. Then it can work. Would you want seat and tires with ether too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like rocket science. So I, I came up with this rig here. What I have is that clamp welded to two bolts. And then that piece of plate we cut out and punched two holes in. Now I'm not sure if this plastic stuff's going to work. If it doesn't, then we'll just replace that. I mean, I've never done anything like this before, so we'll try. We're not gonna fail, we only get results. Holy yes. smokes! Come on, baby. All we have to do now is take my pressure washer here and hook this end of the gun up to this end of the hose, clamp that down, and then just let it rip and hopefully it pulls these dents out. I saw a couple videos on YouTube. That doesn't mean that it's going to work like, it doesn't mean that it's bulletproof, but we will try it. You think this is gonna work? No. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait. This is freaking me out. There's the crack. I haven't touched a TIG torch in a long time, so before you judge my welds, for all you welders out there, just keep in mind, it's been a while. And I came down. It's freaking working. It's freaking working. It is actually working. I, I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> it did. Now I gotta clean the lens off. It's like really, really. You, you can tell. Wow, that looks really good. I'm very impressed with the outcomes and the results from investing like $6 into fixing like $150 to $200 pipe. I think that's a deal. Granted, it's not perfect, but it's definitely crack free and it can actually work correctly. Just like that, we got the job done. Now I can get the hell out of here and go home. I just left the shop. The problem about being a welder and trying to have fly oh my hair is it doesn't really work. Like you start out with some pretty fly hair and you put the helmet on and then you, you know, a muffler blows up on you and then your hair looks like this and it's whack. I think I did a mighty fine job though with that muffler considering the what was going on there. The pressure washer did a decent job considering it's not a very, very expensive pressure washer. But the first attempt, it didn't really work. It blew up in my face so then we went ahead and bought two clamps. The two clamps did a very, very good job and it did pull a lot of those dents out of the muffler, which I'm very, very happy for. So I do look forward to installing it on the KTM. I don't know if we're gonna install it tomorrow or what. Maybe you guys should, you guys decide, how's that? Leave it in the comment section below. Do you want me to work on the KTM tomorrow? Do you want me to work on the, just, just leave it in the comment section below what you wanna see. Not only that, I, I have a part two for you. Remember when I had the donut and I was eating it? That donut sucked, but the sub was good. But, so this is my question. When I eat food, when I when I get food and I and I add it in my videos, I know I know I don't add it all the time, but the times that I do add it, do you guys enjoy it? Do you become hungry? Because I know when I watch other YouTubers that mention food or like have food, I'm like, yep, I'm hungry. Ooh.